Hey folks, Mason again with River Road Jet Boats. Uh, getting a lot of questions online. Uh, people asking, uh, is the nozzle uh, a performance enhancer? Um, that's a really good question. And there's lots of different ways to answer it. Uh, I think what most people are asking though is, can it make the motor go faster? And does it make it run more efficient? Uh, let's go and answer the second one first. On efficiency. We definitely increase efficiency of the outboard jet uh, as we know it. And the reason for that, it's nothing magic. It is the fact that we greatly reduce cavitation. We greatly reduce airflow through the pump. Uh, that makes the pump run at its full potential. When the pump has no air in it, it's getting the maximum bite. Uh, if there's air in there, it's just like boiling water and it greatly reduces our performance, our whole shot, our top end, uh, and everything in between. Every time that boat cavitates, uh, we're, we're taking a hit in all departments. One of the areas where we really take a hit, though, is the motor. Uh, the fuel consumption goes up, and the worst thing about traditional outboard jets and cavitation on higher horsepower motors, if the operator is not Paying attention to that, you can damage the, you run the potential of damaging the power plant. Uh, with the nozzle system and the acceptor plate system, we basically eliminate cavitation. If it does cavitate, you jump the whole unit out of the water or uh, you hit a big frothy hole, it's going to rehook on its own with zero throttle input, uh, less than two seconds uh, in the worst case scenario. Uh, that is, is an awesome performance enhancement for us. Going out and stretching our fuel uh, to the absolute max is awesome. Uh, the transition to these four strokes was great. Being able to add to that is something that uh, I never, you know, I think I'm always happy to put my foot or, or, or look at that fuel gauge or lift up that fuel tank and, and see that I've got more uh, than I would have had on that trip a few years back um, in a different type of rig. Um, the other thing on the performance end um, will make the boat go faster. Okay, so here's the deal with the nozzle. Uh, the dimensions in which we're discharging water, it's very difficult to manipulate those dimensions and have uh, uh, positive uh, benefits. Uh, the, the ability to make the outboard jet go faster is dictated by several things. The maximum RPMs of the motor, uh, the type of impeller we're running, how well it's shimmed, uh, and also the angle in which it is discharging. If I'm going to set a nozzle boat up, an ultralight boat that uh, some guy out in the Midwest is going to be running and he's running it for nothing but speed, he's not going to be hitting a lot of rocks. Um, we're going to set his acceptor plate angle higher than where we set our angles out here. We're going to put him on a more traditional plane so that the boat will pad out on its stern and have just the intake and the back end of the boat in the water. Uh, we can do that and we can eliminate the cavitation normally generated by trimming the motor up uh, to the levels where we're, we're doing it because of the acceptor plate. So. Um, can I make the boat go faster? Yeah, I can. We can we can get a better seal uh, with a higher setting the motor up higher. Can you go too high? Yeah, absolutely. The boat will start porpoising uncontrollably. Um, is it the you know the speed solution that you guys are looking for? It depends on what you're doing. If you're running a lot of really aggressive water like you guys see me doing uh, quite often. And you're going to want it set where I set it. That way I get my force plane. That way I'm generating the most lift when I'm coming into shallow water. I'm presenting more of my hull surface to the bottom of the river and thereby generating lift. Uh, the more I go to a traditional plane, the more my impact surface becomes primarily the back foot or so of the boat. Um, with the acceptor plate, if you did take a stern hit, um, like with our regular setup, you're not going to break the, the foot or, or damage your pump, uh, but you're going to hit hard. It's going to be like a traditional jet. So uh, as you raise that angle up and you change your approach angle to the water, uh, you really got to make the decision, am, am I a rock crawler 
or am I going fast? Because where you end up, set, where we end up setting your acceptor plate, uh, will dictate how well you take those hits. Uh, I want you to take light hits because of the way the hull is presented to the bottom. If you're out in the Midwest flying and you got nothing but sand and gravel, man, let's let's trim that thing up and really make it scoot. Uh, we're going to eliminate the cavitation, so you're going to be able to go higher than you ever were able to go before. Uh, and you're going to go faster. It's a, it's a zero drag haul with, with our products. It's a true zero drag. We have nothing hanging below the bottom of the boat. Our regular transom height is 31 inches. Usually we're about three inches, three and a half inches above the bottom of the boat with the actual intake foot. So it is zero drag. Either way you run the boat, um, you're still leaps and bounds ahead of a traditional outboard jet setup. Uh, the, the whether it's speed you're looking for or, or just sheer endurance and durability I've got it and yes it is more efficient uh, maybe like I said not in the in the way that you guys were thinking but definitely when we talk about engine life when we talk about fuel consumption uh, we see some really really nice improvements uh, with the nozzle system and on the speed end. I can make you go faster, but it is at a price. You know, we've got to change that from a force plane to a traditional uh, plane. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. I, I uh, you know, a lot of people ask and I tell people exactly what I've just explained to y'all. Um, if you want more information, give me a call. I'll, uh, I'll tell you uh, all the different things that we did to come up with, with our information. Um, the, the big thing though is, is um, <laughs> you run a boat of equal weight, uh, same type of haul, uh, uh, and you end up with the, the end results of you know less cavitation, less RPM revs, long term better for the motor, and better fuel consumption. Uh, again, guys, this is Mason with River Road Jet Boats, and uh, I look forward to seeing y'all on the river and hearing from y'all on, uh, on Facebook and, and YouTube. Until next time, get out on the river.